Hi, I'm the Victoria's Beginista, and today I am going to show you how to make mashed potatoes, uh, mixed vegetables, some basic. It's very easy if you have the ingredients. Uh, and this is really good for finger food, uh, for the holidays, for any time really. You could make it ahead of time and just heat it when you're ready to use it. I already made a few in here, okay? And uh, this is my stuffing. It's already mixed here, and you have uh, the ingredients in the recipe, okay? So, I, what I do, this is water and starch. And I just rub the edges like that so it will hold better when you close it. You're not gonna close it all the way anyway. So, you rub the starch and water mixed on the edges. And you go like this, you hold it by hand and just go in the this end and this end, you see it? And this end, right there, four corners. And it gives you this shape. You can make any shape you like. You can cut it any way you like, any size you need. It's the uh, puff pastry. You know, it's very flexible pastry, or you can make your own. And sometimes I do. But this is to make it easier for all of us for the holidays that are coming up. So look at that, see? Easy, nice looking, and then you, I will bake it according to the package uh, instructions. So again, here's another one. Do not overstuff it. You know, this is a small piece of dough. Okay. Here we go, this way. We leave the corners here and just go in the middle and squeeze it in there. Okay, see, if you see it's not gonna close, just put more starch, water starch, okay? And it might open when you bake it, and it's okay. And none of them gonna be the same shape. Trust me, I have made this before several times. None of them gonna be the same shape. If you like, you could sprinkle sesame on the top. But for today, I'm gonna make half of it with sesame and half without because somebody asked me not to add sesame. So if you wanna add sesame, you just sprinkle a little bit like that starch and add it to it. But I'm thinking not to add any sesame on the top. It's, you know, personal preference, so I can do without. Okay, see how this came out? So this side is kind of a little dry. It's not working well for me, so I just added the little starch water. Okay, none of them is looking the same. And again, uh, make sure you do this because we're vegans don't use eggs, so we use the starch and water. Okay, I love making sambosic. It's there is so many other stuffings. I am make it with uh, onions and uh, meat, vegan meat and pine nuts, just several ways and several shapes. And you could use it for sweets too. See, it's coming along. Okay, so I am uh, gonna bake this in the oven and I'll show you the final results. Okay, um, I'm gonna show you how to uh, make it easy to put sesame on it. So what I do, I just take any one I, I like, so put it in the starch water like this also, and you could do that way. Just, just about it. Easy to put the sesame on it. So I'm gonna just make a few like this, okay? Stick it in the sesame. I use different uh, um, sesames. I use the black, I use the regular. I always try to use the unhard sesame, okay? So it is just stick it into the plate here with the starched water into the sesame. And that's it. I'm going to make just four, just to show you, okay? And I think this really looks nice. And uh, I'm going to bake it according to the package uh, directions. And I will show you when I finish. I'm really excited about this too, for you for the holidays. Okay, I just uh, finished baking my uh, mashed potatoes and mixed vegetables, uh, some basic. 
and it really turned out really, really nice. I'm really excited and very happy about the results. See, look how beautiful it is. It's really a good finger food. You could have it ready for your occasions, for your holidays, or for every day. You can have this with salad, that's a whole meal. So this is the one I did with the sesame. See, there is the sesame still on there, and I use different sesames. And this is the one without. See how good it looks? It really looks delicious. And it is delicious, actually. I'm very excited and very happy with the results. And I hope that you can make it and let me know how it turned out for you. Because it's very important for me to hear from my followers. It's really a good feeling to know that they made it and they like it or they didn't like it. Something they need to change. So just let me know if you try it, okay? And it's a great, great dish. Thank you.